In the ever-changing world of art, one pioneer remains an uncontested king, Pablo Picasso. The Spaniard has long been an inspiration for contemporary artists, many of whom are featured in Picasso Mania, an exhibition at the Grand Palais in Paris featuring 75 artists from the world over. Picasso is such a big artist that everyone wants to share in his work, and contemporary artists have all been inspired by parts of it. So we were able to retrace his influence over different periods, different themes, to show that Picasso is still an instrument of renewal. Some 400 pieces are displayed here, a third of which belong to the master himself. The rest come from a range of artists influenced by his work, from Roy Lichtenstein to Andy Warhol, as well as a few African artists. But an entire room is dedicated to paintings inspired by one of Picasso's finest, Les Demoiselles d'Avignon. It inspired African-American artist Robert Colescott to recreate his own version, Les Demoiselles d'Alabama. Imagine what the Demoiselles d'Avignon can represent for an artist who grew up in segregated Alabama. It's a painting that can be both shocking and disturbing. George Kondo is another American featured here in the bad painting section of the exhibit, in reference to the negative response to Picasso's last paintings. He was very prolific, and I'm very prolific because I don't deprive myself of an inspiration. Something comes in my head, I put it on the canvas, and it has to happen as quickly as I see it in my mind. Up until his death at age 91, Picasso's strokes of genius innovated and intrigued, securing his place amongst the greats of 20th century art.